Hello there, people of the internet. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing fine, thanks for asking, although I'm sure you did not ask. The other day, I opened up this spam can of ammo, which seems to hold 762 by 39 rounds. They're hollow points, right? Well, those are on the floor now. They're hollow points, right? Well, I loaded them on some five-round SKS stripper clips, and uh, I'm going to take them outside, see how they shoot. I have no idea what these are or where they came from. If anybody can enlighten me as to what these are or where they came from, you know, I'm, I'm willing to listen. I think that they are Russian because the lettering on them looks Russian, but I could be wrong. As for the actual spam can, it was painted over. If you want to see the video of me opening this, I will link it. If you want me to explain why I use five round stripper clips for my SKS, I will explain that as well. And I will, well, I, I, I will link that in the description as well. So let's get out there and blow some shit up. Due to unsightly wind conditions, I elected to go ahead and voice over rather than try and speak directly to the camera. These first four rounds are basically me just trying to make sure that the ammo's, you know, usable, there's no hang fires or squib loads or anything like that. Just trying to play it safe for these first couple of rounds. And as expected, it fired flawlessly. Now we're gonna really start getting into it. This area is a full five round clip. The reason that the other magazine was only four rounds was because I decided to take apart one of the rounds of ammunition. The ammunition is hollow point, but it's not boat tailed. Seems to be rather accurate as well. I'm at about 40 yards or so. And I'm managing to hit tile left and right. It also seems to have rained on me. <laughs> Now it looks like we're going to be getting a little bit more in-depth with the ammo. Ah yes, I'm shooting the log that is right there beside the car. If you can't see it now, you will see it in a sec. I wanted to see the results that these hollow points had on wood. I know hollow points will absolutely devastate wood versus full metal jacket rounds. There, there was a bit of rapid fire secession to see if it cycled through my SKS reliably. Which, of course, it did. Ammunition here seems to be alright. Ah, yes, I had a slight malfunction with my stripper clip, but that's not the ammo's fault. What a beautiful SKS. As of now, I believe I'm just trying to unload the ammo that I have loaded onto stripper clips. Oh, looks like I'm going for the rock right there. Let's see what sort of destructive force. All right. These hollow points seem to have plenty of power behind them, because that was impressively big. <laughs> it didn't look that big in real life, but man, it looked good on camera. And now it looks like I'm just launching lead. Damn, how many stripper clips did I pack? <laughs> I love the idea of these hollow points just absolutely ripping themselves up. Oh yeah, I burnt myself. You don't really 
you don't really see that, but I, I grabbed a little too far forward and I touched the barrel and oh god, it burnt my finger. As I said, I decided to set up a log and hit it with the hollow points. As you can see, I hit it several times. I can al you can already see how much destruction these hollow points put out. I mean, these things have tons of power behind them. You know, more power than I was actually expecting. Ah, right, there's a piece of wood in the car. <laughs> more power than I was expecting from this steel cased ammo. As a good destruction test, I elected to shoot at some concrete. I got a cinder block here, it's already been broken up, but it's not like that's gonna matter. Even if it was a full cinder block, this ammo would just go right through it anyway. So, just for funsies, I decided to fire at it. Oh yeah, I decided to load single rounds because I didn't want to walk down range with a loaded SKS pointed at my ass. Perfectly understandable. Until you miss. <laughs> I mean, I kind of hit it. Looked like I just barely nicked it, but there we go. That was a nice explosion. Not quite as nice as the tile, but it was still enjoyable. Alright, I didn't, well, these hollow points are obviously copper core, or well, not copper, they're lead core, and I knew that they had basically zero chance of going through steel, so I went out and I found myself a little piece of aluminum plating, and decided to shoot at that instead. All right, I got it pretty good. It doesn't look like the hollow point actually expanded. It looks like it just went through the aluminum, which is not surprising. And it's kind of hard to see here on camera, but you can actually see the rifling from the bullet etched into the aluminum. You can, you can kind of see it right there. I decided to get a little up close and personal with it to see if maybe a closer influence would cause a little bit more spread on that hollow point. I was doubtful that it would happen, but I still figured I'd give it a shot. Of course I hit it, and it seems to have the same results. Looking at the warping of the metal, it doesn't look like the hollow points actually expanded at all. But what I do want to point out here is that for some reason the bullets decided to curve upward whenever they hit the plate. Despite the wind and despite the annoyances this was still a fun time. I enjoyed testing out that aluminum plate and seeing the <laughs> seeing the various explosions and and the amount of power that came with these hollow points was crazy. If you enjoyed watching this video and you want to see more like this, be sure to be sure to subscribe and you'll see a bit more. If you want to consider supporting me, I do have a Patreon page. I uh, I try to focus on buying the ammo myself, but unfortunately that's not cheap and I can't quite get the content that I'd like to get. So anyone willing to support me through Patreon would definitely help out with the channel. I'd like to see it grow and I'd like to see it expand. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a nice day.